Animals. I don't know what we got ourselves into. Oh my gosh. Why didn't somebody warn us? <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to the new video of Asa and I, well mostly me, moving into our married living apartment. So this is gonna be super confusing, but basically if y'all know how leases work, my lease for my house ended in August, but you guys know Asa and I obviously did not get married in the month of August. So there was some like deciding on whether or not I should just move into our apartment early before we get married. Ultimately, that's what we decided to do. So this whole video is filming me moving into our apartment early before we get married and then Asa will follow up later once we're married. So all of that jazz just to clear up any confusion on what the heck's going on. But basically, I'm setting up our married apartment which is what I'm currently sitting in. Wink, wink, wink. So you'll have to watch the rest of the video to see like the before and after because we really, really fixed it up. We painted it, fixed holes in the walls. Like it was, it was pretty scuffed up. But now it's all done and ready to go so. Let's stay tuned and watch how that got there. Okay, guys, this is the apartment we are moving into. I'm just showing you what it looks like coming in here. Okay, you guys, so you have obviously seen our apartment, which is actually, we are so blessed to even have a place to live. People have their preferences and him and I both love white lighting, like daylight lighting and brighter walls. So even though we're renting, we're gonna give painting a shot. So we have a bunch of stuff we're gonna go get. We're gonna fix the holes in the walls. We're going to paint the walls. We're going to change the lights. We're gonna move in all of my furniture. And then also like a weirdism is that we have like a bunch of furniture and stuff from our wedding registry coming soon too. So it's like, even though we'll be moved in, we won't be yeah, fully be, moved in it'll because- It'll be a lot months until we have everything. Yeah, it'll be like a couple weeks until we really collect everything and get it all settled into our apartment. Man, are we scared. I mean, you have to learn somewhere how to learn. make I, your apartment I, I, dreams I've happen. I've house before. Have you? I, I don't think I ever have. Well, that makes one of us that's new at this, so. Hey, we're shopping for supplies right now to uh, fix up the apartment. This is a big bad bucket of paint. It's like 40 pounds. <laughs> I don't really know what the heck I'm doing. I watched a thousand videos. If you are professional at any of this stuff, do not come for me. I watch a bunch of tutorials. So this is primer and paint. I've got a bunch of roller kits with correct tins. I have an edging tool. I have paint tape. I have all the things. Tarps, sandpaper, putty, everything. Let's go. I literally spaced and forgot to show y'all me packing up my closet last night. So here it is. It's all packed up. <laughs> um, it was be only glad. Seven hours worth. So. Be glad that I didn't show y'all honestly because my it like was a disaster mess until we got it all packed up. It was literally just a pile of clothes on the floor. And I have a story. So you can see right here. That's just a small glimpse of what it looked like the whole time. So it's all packed up. Yay! And I got rid of, I'm donating like what? A lot of bags of clothes. And you guys, the reason why I have a lot of clothes is because I have a clothing shop and so I get new boxes of clothes for the stuff that, you know, for our shop and stuff probably, you know, every two weeks. And so I'm constantly either collecting and keeping so that I have the clothes so that I can push them and show them for our shop or I'm constantly getting rid of and donating my clothes. So I understand I have a lot of clothes and there is a really good reason for it. Otherwise, I would cut down a lot of it. All right, babe. The first, first uh, paint stroke is about to happen. We have this taped up right here, so. Okay, so we have, we have the tarp down now, and we're about to paint the first stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not professionals, but I don't think it could be really too, do too bad. horrible. Yeah. I don't know what we got ourselves into. Oh my gosh. Why didn't somebody warn us? <laughs> we have been here for what, two hours? Over. And we have that done. This that, this, that, and that. Meanwhile, look at the difference here. So we're eating lunch, dinner, whatever this is. What is this, dinner? Mm -hmm. Eating dinner. It's a mess in here, I'll tell you what. It's a mess. 
Yikes. That's a wrap on paint day number one. It is. <laughs> Very first day we've had access to the place. You can see my empty closet. And the rest of my room is a disaster because we're mid packing. Me, look at me. Yeah, look at here. Let me just. Can you see my legs right now? There's my foot. <laughs> this is kind of like a tie dye shirt now. <laughs> so much paint everywhere. I had it all over my hands, but I just washed my hands. Yeah, I'll show you mine. It's in my hair. It's on Ace's face. I don't even know how that It's happens. on your face, right here. Would not recommend, but I felt like it was a rite of passage. Don't yes, you? Totally it was a rite of passage. I totally agree. We had to do it. No regrets. No regrets. Okay, good morning. It's day two of painting, slash cleaning, slash moving in general. But check it out. It looks freaking good in here. It looks so good. We have wallpaper coming for those, so just ignore the, the yellow wood. But look at these walls. And we finished this room yesterday. But just look at this difference, hold on. That room, this room. That room, this room. You see what I mean, you see? Original, new, original, new. So much better. Ace of the tape, man. Hey, yo. We learned yesterday that Ace is not good with a paintbrush, but he's good with a roller. And tape. And tape. <laughs> well, the tape took some practice, but... It did take some practice. He's doing good at it now. Yeah. And look who joined us today. Oh. Who joined us today? Hi. Currently midnight after paint day number two. And I, after today, feel like I cannot move my body. Um, currently my room looks like this and nothing else is packed up. And I have a moving, moving truck coming at 9.30 tomorrow morning. So I kind of low-key have a lot to do. And it's currently 12.30. I wasn't planning on having painting go for two days, which is why I did not plan to pack. I planned to, and all my plans fell apart, but I basically planned to give my a whole day to pack up everything in the house, which it shouldn't have taken longer than a whole day. And unfortunately, painting took two days. I'll keep you updated on how tomorrow goes. As of right now, I'm dying and I'm feeling so stressed. I feel like I can't think of anything else. <laughs> and everything that I need is packed away. So I have a tiny, tiny little suitcase over here with some stuff. That about sums up how I'm feeling. Kind of a little bit like this and I just don't want to do anything. But I have to do everything. Y'all, this is not fun. All my ladies out there, on top of the stressful week that I have, it's that time of the month too. So I'm actually dying on it. <laughs> Internally, externally, environmentally, physically, and mentally right now. <laughs> All the things. Ah, it's fine. Look who showed up. Hey yo. Hey yo. So many moves. Look at this place. It's crazy how empty it is. It's like when we first moved in. Ooh, my goodness. Hello. Oh my. Come on, loading. Okay guys, it's moving day. The fan came in town to help. I'm literally like shaking, it's so hot. We have about half of it moved in and currently the rest of it's loaded on the curb. Ooh, it's hot, y'all. It's hot. All right, now we are moving stuff in. This top? This is the TV. You guys got it. Woohoo! Like Look at his glasses. That's the best part right there. Oh, yeah, I get the sweat marks on the TV. Uh, other way? Yes. Excuse me, this is a really cute angle. We're getting it organized right now, trying to get some stuff put away. Stinker. His home was set up. Back to normal. Hi, huh, Jack. He's just like the Back fans. to normal. <laughs> this is no joke. I, I have never heard this much in my life. Show me when you've done so much packing that your sense of style completely goes out the window. <laughs> what are you wearing? <sighs> Hey guys, so today I'm picking up all the extra furniture for Bailey and I's new apartment. 
from the office in Dallas. And uh, the truck we got was a little bit overkill. It's a 15 foot truck and we have about seven things. So Bailey's staying up in Dallas for the weekend. So I had to drive home by myself this time. I don't think it'll be too bad. I have already driven one of these twice now and I'm still alive. So, well, it's supposed to be a two hour drive probably turned into like two hours and 45 minutes. The traffic was horrible. In terms of driving the U-Haul, it really wasn't that bad. It kind of just felt like a big car. I guess it's not the same as driving like a semi truck. I'm safe, I made it, and uh, now I gotta unload. <laughs> okay, we are hanging up the last few things. Is that it? Yeah! Woo! Uh -huh. Hey. Hey, hey, ooh, hey, hey, hey. Jack, Jack, Jack. <laughs> I never want to touch a box again in my life. <laughs> if you see the paint on the ceiling. No, you don't. I, like I talked about, way prefer like white light. So I just want to show you the difference. Cause I, I've like filmed some videos with the yellow light, but I'm going to quickly flip the white light on so you guys can see, you ready? Asa, go. Ta-da! It gives it like a much better hue on the walls. I think at least, I don't know. I don't know, you guys can tell me in the comments what you think. Gotta love stress pimples. Yeah, love them. My favorite thing ever. Is this your new house, Bubby? 